Hey guys, Pastor Brad here. Hope you're having a great day. Hope you've had a great Labor Day week uh, as you got some rest perhaps on the first part of the week. And for those of you that are out of town like my family was last week, you got some rest and relaxation at the end of the summer and you're ready to run into the fall and finish out the end of the year strong. Thank you for being here. Those of you that were in town, uh, tremendous Sunday school and worship attendance way up over where we were, where we were in 2019. Uh, we had three saved and three joined the church on a long holiday weekend. It's been that way uh, for months. God's been so good to us. So thank you for being in your spot, serving and singing and all those sorts of things. It was a great weekend at Abilene. Super excited about this coming Sunday. We're beginning a brand new series called Great Expectations and basically how to get connected how to stay connected, uh, what we can expect from you as a church member or soon-to-be church member, and then what you can expect from us. And so we're looking at, over the next four weeks, looking at worship and community and serving and inviting, and beginning this weekend, we're looking at, from Acts 2, the Bible's blueprint for corporate worship. What should happen when we gather for worship? What should be involved in a worship service? Why should we uh, gather together? And then what should happen as a result of us gathering together to worship our great God? And so I want you to be here Sunday morning. Super important uh, series that we're beginning. And then also Sunday night, don't forget Lord's Supper. If you're new to Abilene, these are the biggest Sunday night uh, worship services we have Abilene's just unique that way. Everybody shows up for, for the Lord's Supper, so make sure you're in your spot this coming Sunday night for Lord's Supper. And then also, this Sunday is a special emphasis for our kids' ministry. Every single kid that comes involved in kids' worship or kids' ministry is going to get a special gift. I know what it is, and it's really neat. Your kid's going to want it. And so it's going to be a great, great day. Don't forget, next Thursday is our very next Bible and Biscuits for our men's ministry. That is Thursday, September the 14th, 6.30 to 7.30 uh, here in the Martinez Campus Social Hall. The breakfast is amazing. It's $7. You can register online at myabilene.org forward slash B-A-B. And so for Bibles and Biscuits. And so uh, I want you to be there for that, guys. It's a tremendous time of just gathering together, uh, kind of encouraging each other, really practical. How do you live the Christian life? So I want you to be there. Sign up uh, for that. And then also... The Columbia County fall thing is Saturday, October the 21st from 10 to 2. This year's at the Evanstown Center Park. We had to move it. Uh, the county, we got too big for them. Uh, we were messing up the grass. And uh, so we've got to have a bigger space in order uh, to have everybody there and to reach the folks that we want to reach. And so this year is going to be at the Evanstown Center uh, Park. And uh, we do need 275 people to make this happen. So we're getting ahead of the game, but you're going to want to serve as part of the series. And so sign up to serve 275 of you, and you can sign up to be a part of this at myabilene.org forward slash fall. These are great days at Abilene, the best summer we've ever had. On a stormy night, waiting two hours, we baptized 21 people in one night there at our uh, uh, Lake Fellowship and Baptism Service. We've never had a summer as good. So here's what I need you to do, guys, especially, especially at the Martinez campus, I need you to park out. If you're thinking, well, they're not talking about me. No, we're talking about you. I need you to park out. Choir folks, you're normally here earlier and first. I need you to park in that bottom college parking lot. Park as far out as you possibly can. If you need something to be dropped off, that's fine, but then park as far as you can. Not like right across the road or two lanes across the road. I, I need everybody to park as far as you can. And then we're going to start having shuttles running uh, over a discount tire. And so I need you to park out. Let's give all the space, all the room. We're, we're at a spot right now to where if we will make a place for people, people will come and fill up. All the parking spots, all the pews, we're in one of those sweet spots right now where God is really blessing us. I need you to really, really help me uh, by parking out as far as you can. Guys, drop your families off. Park out as far as you can. City Electric, over behind Tile Center. Ride the shuttles, door-to-door -door service. Park in the bottom part of the parking lot. Park on the side of the street. Uh, park your car on top of another car. I, I don't know what you're going to do, uh, but let's give more space uh, for the folks that God wants to bring to be a part of Abilene. So, hey, have a great rest of the weekend. Be in your spot. Great expectations, and I expect and I look forward to seeing you Sunday morning in your spot. I'll see you then.